So the crazy time that we're living in, in March 2020, means a lot of us are doing a bit of a crash course in video editing for doing church online. So in this video, I'm going to uh, just kind of show you what's been working for me. And this is all with uh, software that uh, you probably already own. If you have a Mac, this is all stuff that's included on your computer. And I'm going to show you how you could do something like this. Here's a video that I shot just at home uh, with a camera, uh, built-in mic on the camera. It's actually, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a Panasonic G85 that I shot this with, just using the built-in mic from probably about three feet away, and the audio was pretty good. And the video is, uh, is nice. It's a 4K camera, but I'm only using a 1080p. So the thing that is important, though, is uh, having lyrics show up on your screen so people can follow along. And doing this in a way that's not super uh, labor intensive and having it actually look nice or positioning it in a spot on the screen that you want the lyrics to show up is what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So let's uh, dive in here. I'm going to start off with a um, video file. So you take, I'm just going to work with one of my own songs here, and take the file and we're going to put it into iMovie. So these are the programs you're going to need, as you can see. You've got, um, uh, well, everything on your computer already, like from browsers, but uh, mainly iMovie and Keynote is what you're going to need to do this. And if you have a different uh, presentation software that can export images with transparent backgrounds, that would work too. So let's start off with iMovie. I'm going to take my video and drag it in. I don't even have to put it in the media uh, area. I can just put it right into the timeline. I've uh, started a, a new project here. Let's zoom in a little bit, or I can use Command Plus to zoom in. And I'm just going to uh, shorten the front of the video a little bit to get close to where the actual audio starts. And now what we need is a bunch of uh, images for the lyrics that we can drag on top of the video file. And we're going to want transparent backgrounds so that they overlay the video without um, without uh, blocking the video. So if you have a program um, that can do that, I'm using Keynote and I've made two templates here, uh, all of which uh, I'm going to make accessible on our church website. So if you want all these song files or uh, some of these templates, if you go to uh, mordenalliance.ca right there under resources go to music and right near the bottom is uh, worship song slides in keynote format you just click on that and it'll open up a shared google drive folder that'll have all these files. So the templates are near the beginning with the little uh, underscore near the in the beginning of the file name. And then all the songs are here. Uh, so pretty much any song that, uh, that we do at church is, is in this folder. And you can just download each one. So I've already done that in Finder here, uh, but I deleted it, so I'll download it again. So we're going to work with recreating. There, so we're just going to download that. And our internet is not exceptionally fast here. Because it's really not a big file. It's uh, less than a megabyte. So every song has its own file, and uh, the way I set them up is I have uh, my songs collapsed with a, a title slide, and then the rest of the song is collapsed underneath that. So the first uh, set is with Nashville Number System in the notes, because I put these on the confidence display for uh, at the back of the auditorium. And so the next one is in the key of E, 
and the key of C, but it doesn't matter what we're going to use uh, because we're not going to use this notes section. It's just the, the main section that we're going to be using. So uh, just copy, so Command C, copy the uh, file here, and then I'm going to open up, I've already got one open here. The template I'm going to use, I've got different options here. This one is the uh, lyrics on the bottom third. If you want a larger section of the screen to display your lyrics, but uh, what I want to use today is this one here that I made where the lyrics are in this top section because as I filmed, I put myself here and uh, there's some other like plants in the corner and there's an empty space right here. So that's where I want to put my lyrics. So that's the one I'm going to use. So we're going to Command V, paste the lyrics into uh, this template. And then we're going to need to change the master. So uncollapse the song. Command A to select all the slides, and we're going to change the master. And we want this one here. We want the lyrics uh, with next line right there. If you prefer not to have uh, an up next line, that's what I kind of do with this little line over here. Below the line is what's coming up next, so it's in a slightly smaller font and it's partly more transparent. So the live lyric is always above the line and then what's coming up next is below. If you'd rather not see that, you can just select all those slides and change the master to the one that's just the lyrics. And then it won't have the up next, it'll just be the live line. So I'm gonna go back to the one with the up next. And now the important thing in this is that there's no background. Even though this is black, you can see that the background here says no fill. So it's not actually a black color, it's, it's no fill. That's the important part. And I've done that on the master. So when, uh, if you go to uh, edit the master slide, you can see that this is where the text is, and here's my up next line. It's actually, my up next line is in the title. So if I don't want to see that, oh, I have to click off of it. Yeah, if I unclick this checkbox here, that'll take away that up next line. But I'm going to leave that in there for now. And this has no fill, and that's what's going to allow us to get a transparent background. Now, I'm going to take all these slides and I'm going to export them as PNGs. So let's get rid of that first slide because it's blank. Go to File, Export to Images, and choose PNG. Then it'll show you the checkbox beside Export with Transparent Backgrounds, and that needs to be on. So now I can export this and I'll call it recreating. And just put it in downloads as my temporary folder. It will create a folder with all the slides numbered for this song. So if I go to my finder, it's now created this folder and all the lyrics are in there. So if I hit spacebar, I can preview it. There's my title slide my up next and my live lyrics, all with transparent backgrounds. Now I'm ready to take these images and put them over top of my video. So we'll go to iMovie and also view this. Now I'm going to just take these and drag them over top of here. And you can see it's putting them over top of this blank area in the video and it doesn't block the video. Now to speed things up, I can also change the, uh, the default length of each of these, so 6.3 seconds. And here's a, well, I'll show you where to find that first of all, under movie, or iMovie preferences. Photo duration right there is where you can set the default length of, of every, um, set of lyrics because it's actually a, an image file. 
And here's a little uh, formula you can use to calculate how long it should be. If I go to my song, it is in 6A timing, 192 beats per minute. So I just grab Spotlight Search for doing a quick math uh, calculation. So a minute has 60 seconds, divide by 192 beats per minute, times 6 beats per bar, because it's in 6A timing, times however many bars each uh, set of lyrics is. So uh, I think it's two, well, let's double check. So if it's two bars of music for every uh, image, then you'll want 3.75 seconds. And I'll just uh, double check to see. And I believe it's four bars. Okay, so I'm gonna go back um, to my calculation here and I'll go four bars. So I've got a minute divided by 192 beats per minute times six beats in a bar, because it's in 6A timing, times four bars, seven and a half seconds. So then go to iMovie preferences and change the length of each image to seven and a half seconds. Okay, let's delete that one for now and I'll put them all back in. So, uh, nope, not that, I wanted the finder. There we are. So I'll just take a few at a time. Let's start with the first 10. And I can highlight them all and bring them in. And have a listen to see if it's working. Now I can just wait until the first singing starts. Okay, so right around there where the cursor is, that's where I want this lyric slide to be. So I'm just gonna drag them all. Command to unselect the video. It does not want to cooperate. Okay. So I can, that's where I want it to be. I'll just hover over this one until I see that. And I'll just shorten that slide and lengthen this one. Now it should be matched up. Pretty close. So I'll adjust that a little bit more. And all of these are probably going to need to be moved over so I can select them all move over a bit. Let's check that timing of that one. There we go. So most of them are going to be matched up. So that one was a little late. So they're all a little bit long. So I think I'm going to shorten this. I'll try 7.3. I'm probably not playing exactly at uh, the timing that's written on there. So that's why I'm not uh, playing to a metronome. And my internal metronome, I guess, is not perfect. So now, if I was playing to a click, this should all match up pretty, pretty accurately. And as you go through it, you just, uh, what I find as you listen, just pause the cursor at the spot you want the next slide to change to, and then shorten the length of that slide uh, to match the cursor. So that one was pretty good.
then right around there is where I want the next one to, to start. So I'll just go hover over it until I see that cursor, drag it to match there, and now it's matched. So there you go. And then as I go through the song, I'll just grab the next chunk. And you can put as many in at a time as you like. So really, the only work intensive part here now is just matching up the length of each one. You don't have to go into each set of lyrics and mess with the formatting. And uh, all your styling is all set in your keynote file. So whatever you create in here is what your lyrics will look like on the screen. All your formatting will be set into the image. And that is it. That is how I uh, found a, an overlay some um, lyrics. The limitation with iMovie is that you can't have more than, than two uh, sources for your image here. You can't have two different camera angles and then lyrics on top of that. Uh, for that, you need uh, some more professional software. So this is uh, simple, though, and it's uh, not too big of a learning curve for those of us that are just kind of diving into this now. So if you have any questions, uh, comment below. I will try and uh, see if I can help out. Thanks.